center of gravity. Every body is made up of a large number of particles in a rigid body. The particles are held together in a fixed position relevant to one another. Each particle is attracted towards the center of the earth with a force equal to its weight. Let F1, F2, F3, F4, F5 and F6 be the forces acting on the particles P, Q, R, S, T, U respectively. The resultant of all these forces is equal to their vector sum given by F is equal to F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus F4 plus F5 plus F6. The line showing the direction of these resultant force is called the line of action. This total force or weight of the body appears to act through the fixed point G irrespective of the position or orientation of the body. This point G is called the center of gravity of the body. The position of the center of gravity of a body may be falling inside or outside the material of the body. Center of gravity of a body is defined as a point of application of the resultant force due to the Earth's attraction on it. Center of gravity of irregular bodies. Let us consider some irregular bodies. Take an uniform meter scale AB and note its midpoint G. If the scale is suspended at point P or Q, it does not remain horizontal. If the scale is suspended at the midpoint G, it remains horizontal and stable. This geometric midpoint is the center of gravity G of the scale for a body which has uniform density and regular shape. The center of gravity G coincides with the geometric center C.